TCU took a 14-7 lead into halftime and surged for 35 points in the second half to leave Waco with a 28-point win. Trevon Boykin threw for 261 yards and four touchdowns and added 56 rushing yards against the Bears' defense. The Frogs won the takeaway battle in the game, forcing six Baylor turnovers. The Horn Frog offense didn't commit a single turnover for the first time this season. Despite the dominant performance on the defensive side of the ball, safety Sam Carter said the team is still looking to improve. We're okay, but we're not satisfied. We know we left. We gave up 14 points off of mistakes that we did. And me, including myself, I gave up one of them. TCU will match up with the Big 12 leader in total defense this weekend against Texas Tech. But the Horn Frog defense leads the nation in takeaways. Cornerback Jason Verrett said that trend needs to continue. That's, I mean, being in this conference, you're going to have to commit turnovers because both, both offenses are tremendous. And, you know, that's just what Coach P wants us to do, to try to commit turnovers and help us to get the ball back for our offense. TCU head coach Gary Patterson said the Frogs expect a tough opponent on Saturday. Big game. You have to, you look at Texas Tech. I'd have to say that you'd have to say that they played they played up to this point better than we have. And although the Baylor game was a step in the right direction, Patterson said Texas Tech provides a whole new challenge. It's apples and oranges. There's a big difference between uh, the schematics of Tech offense and defense and Baylor offense and defense. So uh, you know, every week presents a different problem. The two teams kick off at 2:30 p.m. Saturday at Amon Carter Stadium. I'm Landon Hoff. TCU News Now.